Hi guys, so today I plan to take a yoga class at a beginner level, very beginner level. So uh, yeah, a lot of stretches, warm ups and uh, easy asanas, but yet very effective. So I'm just waiting for some people to join. So yeah. Hey Anna, I know you're waiting for the session. So guys, get your mat ready. If you do not have a yoga mat, uh, you can do on a carpet or a thick blanket which doesn't move around. Okay, so get your mats ready and uh, you can also have a cotton belt or a cotton towel or something instead of a belt if you do not have a belt. You can also have a bottle of water nearby and uh, maybe a hand towel to wipe your sweat. Yeah, we are going to sweat. So I'm planning for a 45 minute to 50 minute session. Let's see how it goes because it's the first time I'm doing a live. It might take some more time to engage with you guys. So how many of you have already practiced some sort of yoga? Like you know what's a Surya Namaskar? Just send me a thumbs up if you know what is, you know, classical style of Surya Namaskar so that I can understand how many of you already know Surya Namaskar. And guys, I would encourage you to join me in live. I will accept your video. Join me in live and uh, do the practice. I have an illustrated class plan and I'm going to send it to people who join me on video. A class plan illustrated with cute, you know, drawings. I did it by myself and I'll be sending it to you. Whoever joins me on the video and does the practice. You don't have to do it perfectly. It's fine. You're ready? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to start. So sit in any cross leg position. Any cross leg position. Hands on your knees. Palm facing up. Or you can hold a chin mudra. Joining the thumb and the first finger. You can join like this. Or just your open palms. Keep your back straight. Gently close your eyes now. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Relax your shoulders. Relax the top of the head. Relax your eyelids. Now bring your awareness to your surrounding. Visualize the room that you're sitting in. Visualize the posture that you're sitting in from all the sides. Bring your awareness to your natural breathing that's happening effortlessly. The air that is coming in through your nostrils and going out effortlessly. Observe the subtle movements in your body like your stomach moving in and out with the breath. Back 
to natural breathing. Prepare your mind for a simple yoga practice today. Throughout the practice, keep your awareness on yourself, your body movements and your breathing. Now join your palms at the heart center. Now we will be chanting three Omkaras. Om is a primordial sound. We say it because of the vibrations it creates in our body. Inhale. Uh, Observe the vibrations in your body and mind. Now gently start rubbing your palms together. Cup your palms on your eyes and slowly open your eyes into the darkness of your palms and start moving away your hands. Namaste. Welcome to the class. Yeah guys, send me a heart or a thumbs up in between so that I know you're hearing me well and you're practicing with me. Because I have to come near the screen to see what you guys are saying. Thank you. Okay, in the same seated position, we will be doing some neck exercise first. Okay, so keep your hands on the sides, place your palms on the sides and then start turning your head to the right, neck, side stretch. Feel the stretch on the side of your neck, here. Now shift to the other side, feel the stretch on the side of your neck. Shift to the other side. Keep breathing. Throughout the practice, deep breathe. Shift. Center. Now, keep, join your palms together like a namaste. And then, with your thumbs, press your chin. And tilt your head back like this. And stay here for a couple of breaths. Keep breathing. Release. Now, now in, interlock your fingers like this and place it at the bottom, at the back of your head, at the back of your neck. And then tilt your head back and stay here for a couple of breaths. Deep breathe, feel the stretch in your neck. Release. Come back. Now, with the hands on the sides. Now, on the right side, Press your palm onto the mat and lift your left arm up and bend to the side, right side. Feel the stretch on the whole side of your body. This is lateral stretch. Keep breathing. Three, four, five. Center. Now the other side. Press your palm onto the left side. And 
Bend to the side. Exhale and bend to the side. Feel the stretch on the side of your body. Two. Three. Four. Five. Center. Now, we'll take a simple twist. Now, place your right hand, right palm on your left knee. Okay? Left knee. And place your left palm at the back of you. Okay? With a slight distance. Here. And then exhale and twist. And look over your shoulders. Okay? Do not lean back like this. Keep your spine straight. And look over your shoulders. Feel the twist in your abdomen. Straighten your shoulders and look back. To the back wall. Keep breathing. Deep breaths. Four. Five. Now center. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Place your left palm on the right knee. Place your right palm at the back of you at a distance. And then twist. Exhale and twist. Look over your shoulders. Your spine is not leaning back. Your spine is straight. With every breath, twist a little more to the back. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Three. Four. Five. Come back to center. How do you feel? Just give me a thumbs up or a heart to let me know that you're practicing with me together. Shake your hands. Okay, now come to Vajrasana. Vajrasana is sitting on your knees. Your knees are bent like this and you're sitting on your heels. Your hip is resting on your heels. Okay, and your hands are on your thighs. This is Vajrasana. Okay, now in Vajrasana, now we are going to do uh, a simple back bend and a forward bend. Okay, like a warm up. So, now, with breath, keep your hands to the sides. With breath, raise them up. Inhale. And then come on your knees. Okay? And then take a gentle back bend. Push your hips forward and look up to the ceiling. You can have your palms together or apart. Exhale. Sit on your heels and place your forehead on the mat. Hands straight. Inhale, come up, bend slightly back. Exhale, sit on your heels. Place your forehead on the mat. Inhale, bend slightly back. Exhale, sit on your heels. Forehead on the mat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Stay there for a couple of breaths. If you are not able to, place the forehead down. Keep your knees apart like this. Open out your knees out and then try to place your forehead down. Stay there for a couple of breaths. This is a relaxing pose called the child's pose. Keep breathing into your abdomen. Now, slowly come up. Bring your knees together. So, if you have any questions, yeah, let me know. Keep your phone on a stand so that you can watch me and then do it. Do it anywhere. On a carpet, on a mat. Now, tuck your toes if you want it to, it to be a little challenging. Okay? Tuck your toes like this and sit on your heels. Now, we are going to do arms exercise. Extend your arms out like this. Okay? And start making small circles like this. Clockwise. Faster. Clockwise. 
keep doing it. Now reverse. Small circles, controlled action. Okay. Now flexion. This is like bring your palms down and up. Down. Only the palms. Down and up. 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 Now start rotating your hand. Like wrist rotation, right? You can either have a fist, closed fist or open your hands out. Start rotating clockwise. Faster. Can you feel the arms paining? That's totally fine. Reverse. Faster. Four. Five. Okay. Now release your hands. Shake your hands nicely. Now if you're feeling pain in the heels, then keep your top of the foot flat on the mat. Okay? Like this. Otherwise, sit on your heels with the toes tucked in. With the, for a challenging posture. Okay? Now, how many of you are following whatever I said? Give me a thumbs up. Anyone wants to join me in video? So that I can correct your posture. If something is wrong, then I can correct you. Okay. Great. Thanks. You can have a hand cloth or a handkerchief or something so that you can wipe your sweat now and then. And you can have a sip of water. Okay, don't gulp the water. Have a sip of water in between if you're thirsty. Okay. Okay, now let's move on. Now, from Vajrasana, bring your legs forward like this. Extend your legs forward. Can you see me? Extend your legs forward. Keep them active. Hands by the sides. This is called seated Dandasana. Okay. Legs are active, feet is active, flexed, pointed towards you, big toes are pointed towards you. Okay, now we'll do leg exercises, like feet exercises. Now, like, you know, like toe fingers, scrunch them and release. You know, tighten them, squeeze them nicely and release. I don't think you can see me, but the toe fingers, tighten them, squeeze them, release. Tighten them, release. Tighten them. Release. Keep doing it. Because this is to increase the blood circulation and mobility. Okay. One more time. Release. Now start rotating your feet alone. In nice big circles. Keep your hands at the back for support. Nice big circles. Start rotating. Faster. Keep breathing. Five. Now opposite direction. Rotation in opposite direction. Nice. Big circles. Five. Release. Okay. Now same way. Flexion. Now X point your big toes to the opposite wall. In front of you. Okay. Extend your feet. Then again back towards you. Extend your feet. Back towards you. Extend your feet. Back towards you. Point your big toes. And back towards you. To the opposite wall. Back towards you. Opposite wall. Back towards you. Okay. Now we'll do leg rotations. Now interlock your fingers or just hold your thighs. Okay. Hug your right thigh. And start rotating your right knee. Okay. At the knee we are rotating. Okay, nice big circles. Keep your back straight. Four, five. No anti clockwise direction. Four, five. Now extend your leg up as straight as possible and look to your 
big toe. Keep breathing. Point your feet to the ceiling. Extend nicely. Feel the stretch in your legs, thighs. Four, five. Release the leg. Now we do the same on the other leg, left leg. Hold your left thigh. Start rotating clockwise direction. One, two, three, four, five. Now reverse. Keep your back straight. Nice big circles. Five. Now extend your leg up. Straighten it as much as possible. You can also hold it at the shin. This is called shin bone. Okay. Or hold it here. Straighten it. Point the feet to the ceiling. Feel the stretch. Five. Release. Shake your legs nicely. Hands nicely. Good work guys. Now. In the same position, we will do both poses. Navasana. This is like very good to tone your core. Core muscles. Okay. In this, just watch me once and then you can do it. Okay. Now, you can either lift your leg, keep your hands by your side for support for beginner level. Next level, bend the knees and keep your hands like this. Engage your core muscles. Pull the navel button in. Okay. And stay here or you can straighten your legs. There will be a little shaking in the legs but it's totally fine. That's normal. Okay. And stay here. Okay. That's the boat pose. You're not leaning your back too much. It's here. Okay. Now let's do. Inhale, lift up. You can stay here totally fine. Engage your core to gain the balance or extend. You can do it. Three, four, five. Down. Good work, guys. So, if you want to tone your abs, get some core muscles worked up, do this pose every day. Okay? Now, let's move to standing asanas. Okay? I'm just coming to check the comments. Great. If you want to join me, please join me in a video. Okay. So, before we go to Surya Namaskar, this is Samasthiti. What is Samasthiti? It's the standing rest pose, which is an active pose. Your big feet is together, your big toes are together, feet together. Your thighs are active. Pull your kneecap up. Pull your navel in. Roll your shoulders back. Hands active by your side. Chest open. Chin parallel to the floor. So this is Samasthiti. The neutral pose. Okay. Now we will do Tadasana with breathing. Okay. Tadasana is like a tree pose. Now with inhale come on the tip of the toes like this lengthen your whole body lengthen your spine as if somebody is pulling from the top exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one time we're going to hold the posture on the tip of the toes. Okay. Inhale up. Hold it. Focus on one point in front of you. A fixed point. Okay. On the wall. Focus and stay there. Lengthen your spine as if somebody is pulling it from the top. Stay there. You can feel the stretch with the back of your legs. Four. Five. Come down slowly. Release. Okay. 
Great. Now, let's start Surya Namaskar. Okay, the classical style we'll be doing today is classical style. So, I'll guide you, but not in detail, but you can watch me and do it. Okay, it's simple, very easy. Now, come to the top of your mat. Any side of your mat, come to the top of the mat. Stand in Samasthiti first. Okay, we'll do it slowly. And then the second round, we'll do it faster. Okay. Stand in Samasthiti. Join your palms at the heart center. Exhale out completely. So this is the first pose. The second pose is bend back, extend your arms and bend back. You can have the arms apart or together. And push your hips forward. Okay? Hips forward. Like this. Okay? Now your feet, it can be apart or together. If you're not getting balance, then slightly apart. Okay, that's fine. So this is the second step. Now, third step is from here, you bend forward, placing your hands, palms on the mat. If you're not able to, just be here. Okay? So always when you're bending forward, people tend to bend from the upper back. Like hunch. This is wrong. So when you bend, the bend, the, you know, bending should happen from the hips. So like this. Okay? Bend from your hips. If you are, if you have tight hamstrings, then you can bend your knees and then bend. Try it with bent knees. You will be able to place your abdomen on your thighs. Okay? That's the aim. Bend forward. Stay there. So this is the, and bring your head closer to the knees. Not like this, closer to the knees. So this is the third step. Got it? So every pose alignment is very important. Okay, Surya Namaskar everybody can do. But with alignment is very important to get the benefit. Okay. Now, next step, place your right leg back. Okay, as back as possible. And, see, beginner level, if you are not able to balance here, you can place the knee down. Or, next step is, knees off the mat. And, the fingertips on the mat. And, look forward. Okay? Don't lean, put all your weight on the thighs. Lift your chest up. Look forward. Next step. Now, place your palms on the mat firmly. And bring the left leg back into a plank pose. Okay? In this, the body is in one line. You're not like this. You're not like this. The hip is lower and your body is in one straight line. The body weight moves above your palms. On your shoulder. Pull your navel in to remain in plank. The next step. Ashtanga Namaskara. For this, place your knee first down and then your chest and then your chin down. Your hip is up. Only the hip is up. So the knee, chest and chin is on the mat. Now, the next step is slide your body forward and lift your chest up. Bend your elbows. Your elbows are not out. It's closer to the body. And look to the front. Lift your chest as much as possible. If you're here, it's fine. But slowly progress. And your feet is flat. Okay? My mic is coming. <laughs> okay. Now, the next step. Tuck your toes. And then come up to mountain pose. Parvatasana. Your head is moving closer to the mat and your heel is trying to rest on the mat. Try to place the heels on the mat completely. And your body is in like a inverted V shape. Like a mountain. So it's called mountain pose. Okay, sometimes if you have tight hamstrings, cannot place your heel down. 
that's okay bend your knees a little bit and give a nice stretch to your back then slowly straighten your knees out okay now the next step is bring your right leg in front in between your hands okay now if you can't bring some people you can bring only till here use your right hand and place it in between your hands again this is ashwa sanchalan the first one we learned right so come on your fingertips look forward you can place the knee down or up okay confidently look forward now the next step bring your left leg in front i am moving just to show you but you don't move your legs bring both the legs in front and again the forward bend okay bring your head closer to the shin now back again to the back bend and then back to the first pose namaskar so this is half round of a surya namaskar did you get it so this is half round of surya namaskar we do the same for the other side okay let's do the other side exhale completely namaskar inhale bend back exhale bend forward inhale left leg back look forward come on your fingertips hold your breath place your palms firmly on the mat and come to plank whole body in one line exhale bring your knee chest and chin down inhale slide your body forward lift your chest up in bhujanga cobra pose now tuck your toes and come to parvata mountain pose now inhale bring your left leg forward in between your palms look forward exhale both legs forward bend down inhale bend back exhale namaskar so that's one round completion of surya namaskar you feel stretched yeah actual surya namaskar is really effective okay so now we we'll look with breath work a little faster okay come to some sthiti to the top of your mat i hope you're sweating because i am sweating a nice workout for the day okay let's do it bring your hands palms together the heart center exhale up completely inhale bend back exhale bend forward hands on the mat head down head towards your knees inhale right leg back look forward on your fingertips hold your breath come to plank position exhale knee chest and chin down inhale slide body forward lift your chest up ujjanga exhale tuck your toes come to parvata inhale right leg forward look forward exhale both legs forward inhale bend back exhale namaskar up the other side inhale bend back exhale bend forward inhale left leg back my mic is coming out hold your breath plank exhale ashtanga namaskar inhale bhujanga exhale tuck your toes parvata mountain pose inhale left leg front ashwa sanchal exhale both legs front bend forward inhale bend back exhale namaskar so that's one more round you guys can do one more round on your own while i just check if there's any questions great now 
after Surya Namaskar, today I'm doing only two or three rounds on your own together. But eventually, when you practice on your own, do five rounds of Surya Namaskar with breathing. And if you're only doing Surya Namaskar, do 15 rounds of Surya Namaskar. Okay? Now, I'll teach you simple lessons, a fun way to do today. Okay? First, let's do warrior pose. You would have heard a lot about warrior poses. Warrior poses are very effective on our body to tone down or tone our body and to strengthen our muscles. Okay? Importantly, our hamstrings, quads and all of that. Okay? For warrior one, first we go to Adomukha, the down dog pose. Bend down and move your leg back like the mountain pose. That is down dog pose. Come here. Inhale, exhale for two breaths. Now, inhale, lift your right leg up. Can you see? Lift your right leg up. Now, this is a three leg dog pose. Stay here. Four, five. Now, bring your right leg in between your palms. Okay? Can you see me? Now, your left heel is off the floor. Now, come up. Okay? Your leg is active. Your thighs are very active. Your knee is right above your ankle. It is not like this. It is right above your ankle. Okay? Your thighs might be burning. But that's what you want. Right? We are working on our hamstrings. Now, you can stay here. Or you can extend your arms up. Look up. No bending back. Just look up or look to the front wall and stay here in this pose. Keep your legs active, back leg active. Keep breathing. Five. Now, place your hand down. Go back to Adho Mukha, down dog. Now, you can hear my breathing on the mic, right? That's called Ujjayi breathing. Ujjayi breathing is when you breathe, you can hear the sound. It's like breathing through the throat with noise. The Ujjayi breathing is said to be very effective. It gives us energy to do the poses. Now, lift your left leg up. Nice and extend your leg up. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Fine. Now, bring your leg in between your palms. The same way. Now, come up. Stay here. Or extend your arms up. This is called Warrior One. Veerabhadra One. Nice and fierce like a warrior. Stay here. Keep breathing. Three, four, five. Place your hands down to go back to down dog. Take a couple of breaths. Down dog pose is actually a rest pose. Now, place your both legs forward. one pose, warrior one pose. How did you feel? Okay. Now we'll do warrior two pose. Okay. So from Samasthiti, inhale, step your right foot back in a wide stance. Okay. Now, point your right toe to the right wall. Okay. Your left foot is pointing to the front. Okay. Now extend your arms. I'll move a little bit so that you can see me. Yeah. Extend your arms. Inhale here. And when you exhale, bend your right leg, knee above the ankle and then look to your right arm or right wall. Okay. This is the warrior two pose. To make it more challenging, bring your right thigh parallel to the mat. Now, 
your body is straight in a line. It's not falling here, it's not bending back. Tuck your navel in and tailbone in. Stay here for five breaths. Three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back to Samastit. Okay? Now, in the same, again step your right hand because I can't turn back and show. Now, we are doing on the left side. Okay? Wide stance. Point the left foot to the left wall. The right foot is pointing to the front. Okay? Extend your arms. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your left leg. Bring your left thigh parallel to the mat. And then look to your left arm. Stay there. Keep breathing. Your whole body is in one straight line. Three. Four. Five. Straighten your leg. Come back to some. Okay. That was second pose of the day. That's called Warrior 2. Virabhadra 2. Okay. We are doing all the warrior poses today. Feeling like a warrior. So I am sweating. Are you? Okay. So the next pose is my favorite. Balancing poses. We will do Prikshasana. It's a tree pose. Okay. So I love balancing poses because during these stressful times, if you practice balancing poses, it calms your mind. Okay, you can focus on your breath and it calms down your thoughts. Okay, so, so practice balancing pose any time of the day. That's the favorite way you can reduce the stress. Okay, so for the tree pose, stand straight. Now, shift your body weight to the left side first. Okay, like mentally first shift to the left side. Now, slowly raise your right leg off the floor. Okay, you can watch me first. Hold the right ankle. Place it closer to your, on your left thigh. See, if this is difficult or challenging for you, if you're practicing first time, place it here or here. Okay, here. Not on the knee, but below the knee. Okay. And if you are confident, then place it closer to the perineum on the left thigh. Okay. Now, for the balance, the great tip is to focus your eyes on a, you know, non-moving point. Like a fixed point in front of you. On a wall. Maybe a wall. Okay. On a wall, focus on one point so that you can balance like this. Okay. Initially, it might be difficult. Take the support of a wall. Lean your hips on the wall. Okay. And then practice. Now, I don't want your left hip to come out like this. It should be straight. Okay. Now, I have to focus on a point. Now, after this, join your palms and stay here. Or move for like move your hands up and stay here for five breaths. Move your knee out. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Now bring your palms down and hold your right ankle. Bring it down. Okay? Now we'll do the other side. How is this pose? Are you liking this pose? This is my favorite. Let me know what's your favorite from today's class. Okay? Hold your left ankle, shift your weight to the right side of the body, place it on your thighs or below the knees, focus on one point in front of you, join your palms, stay here or if you want to challenge yourself, lift your arms up, focus on one point, focus on your breathing, then you can easily balance. 
the less thoughts in your mind, the more balance you can stand. Three, four, five. Release your arms, slowly release your leg down. Okay, that's the third pose for the day. Tree pose. Sandy's favorite pose is also tree pose, that I know. Are you liking the class? Do you want to try some pose? You can give me cobra pose. Yeah, you want to do it? But we did it in the Surya Namaskar itself. But yeah, cobra is a lovely pose. That's your favorite pose, is it? Okay. Now, we're done with a little bit of standing pose, a little bit of balancing pose. Now, let's move to lying down on our belly. Okay. So for that, come to Vajrasana first. You know the Vajrasana, sit on your heels, right? Now, come to child's pose first. Child's pose is placing your forehead on the mat, hands straight, right? Now from here, walk your hands front of the mat and move your hips right above the knees and place your chin or forehead on the mat. Your hip is above the knees, like this. So this is called puppy pose. It's a great stretch for the back. If you're not able to place, move your hips above the knees. It's not moving forward, it's above the knees. Now place your chin and then try to place your chest also down. It's a great stretch for the back. Stay there. Five. Now, from here, I want you to slide the body forward and lie on your belly. Right? Lie down on your belly. Now, from here, we are going to do Shalabhasana, the locust pose. This is also a great workout for your Core. Now place your hands at the back, okay, like this. Now with the inhalation, you're going to lift your legs and the hands like this. Can you see? Like this, like a flying bird, right? Okay, now let's do it together. Inhale, lift your legs up and hands up. Feel the stretch on the back. Lift your chest higher and higher and your legs higher. Hold it, engage in your core. Three, four, five. Down. Feeling tired? No. Keep breathing. Place your hands under your chin like this and rest your side of the chin on the bum like this. Okay, take a couple of breaths rest, then we move to next asana. Now, the next asana is my new favorite. Now, you place the forearm on the mat, elbows on the mat. Now, the same cobra pose with forearm on the mat, right? It's called sphinx pose, like this. Now, I'm going to lift my elbow off the floor like this. With the hands, palms firm on the mat. This is called the seal pose. You get a nice back bend here. Looks like a seal, isn't it? Keep breathing. Three, four, five. Bring your elbows down on the mat and lie down. Take a couple of breaths. Four. Five. Now, again, come back to child's pose. And then come back to Vajrasana. Right? How did it feel? Is your back worked out? Hi. 
Hi everyone, hi Soumya. Yeah, we are almost done. So, next, we'll do one forward bend, the easy forward bend. Not easy, but yeah, the common forward bend is Paschimottanasana. Okay, now, be seated in seated dandasana, like extend your legs forward, flex your toes towards your hands by your sides, right? Now, as I said, in all forward bends, bends you bend from your hip joint, not from your upper back like this. You know, bending like this. You're bending from your hip joint. You're bending from here. Okay? So, this is when you can use a belt or a cotton towel or dupatta or a shawl to get a, you know, deep stretch for people who can't reach the toes. Okay? So, how do you do it? Inhale. Lift your arms up. Extend your spine. Lengthen your spine. Now, exhale, bend forward, hold your outside of the toes or the big toe, you can hold the big toe, okay, or the outside of the toes, okay, now, inhale again here and exhale, bend your elbows out and bring your abdomen on the thighs, chest on the knees, that is the aim, okay, but if you are here, it's fine. But don't strain your upper back. If you're feeling a pain in the upper back, you're doing it wrong. Okay, lift your chest up and then bend. Keep your chest open and then bend forward. If you're round, it's wrong. So keep your chest open and then bend forward. Now, if you're not have tight hamstring, bend your knees and bring your abdomen on your thighs. Like this. Okay, now with the belt, go put it around your feet like this. And then do the same. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend forward. Like this. And always keep the gaze on your gaze in the sense. Look. Look to your big toes. Okay? If you look down, you're going to round your back. So look to the big toes and stay there. Keep breathing. Three. Four. Five. Now, inhale, extend up, exhale, release. How was the stretch? So, this is a proper forward bend. Okay? So, once we do a forward bend, we'll do a counter pose, a back bend. Okay? So, for a simple counter pose, fold your legs. Okay? Fold your knees. Place your hand at the back. Fingers pointing to your leg. Okay? Now, with inhalation, lift your hip up. So, this is like an inverted table. Inverted table pose. And drop your head down, look back. Or look up to the ceiling. Okay? Lift your hip up. Stay here. Three. Four. Five. Bring your hip down. Done. So, that was an easy forward bend and a counter pose. Did you enjoy it? I see some comment. Tan for tea. <laughs> okay. We'll do the last course. Okay. I promise. You still have 5 minutes. I said 50. But yeah. Now we done. Forward bends. Right? Now let's do one inversion pose. Okay. The easiest is Vipaleet Karani. Just lie down on your back. Okay. Lie down like this. Keep your legs straight. Breathe. Now, lift your legs up to a 90 degrees. Okay? And stay here. Keep breathing. Your back is completely resting on the mat. Hold it. This is Vipareetha Karani. The simple inversions. Your blood starts rushing to the upper body. Four, five. Slowly bring it down. Okay? Now, hug your knees. Fold your knees. Hug it tightly. Lift your head. Bring your nose, chin or forehead closer to the knees. Stay here. This is called wind relieving 
pus, any gas, anything, any problems you have in the stomach, this relieves. Shavasana. This is your favorite pose, right? Lie down in Shavasana. Spread out your legs. Spread out your hands beside your body. Close your eyes gently. Relax your whole body. Relax every part of your body right from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. With every deep breath, feel your body sinking into the mat, into the ground. slowly move your fingers move your toes now with closed eyes turn towards your right and stay there for a couple of breaths now with closed eyes come to a seated posture hands in any meditative mudra straighten your back Feel the changes in your body and mind before and after the practice. Yoga is turning your awareness inside of you. Now join your palms at the heart center. We will finish it with one more and three shantis together. Inhale. for another 24 hours you can do it in your own time let me know if you liked it if you have any feedback because I'm doing online for the first time so in case you're interested in practicing with me on a regular basis please DM me I am planning to take zoom class you know on the zoom app I'm planning to take Zoom class one-on-one -on -one, or good.